Hey guys, this is Aaron. Welcome to video three of our chess piece series. In this video, we are going to be creating our rook or castle piece here in SketchUp Free. So I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna use select to open the third base that I created in the first video. Same as I did before, I'm gonna start with the line just to get the measurement of where things are. So I'm going to use inferencing to snap to the middle and I'm gonna bring that up Rook is a tall piece, but not as tall as the king, so maybe right about here looks good. Just like I did on the king then, I'm gonna draw a plane. I'm gonna come across the red axes. I'm gonna hold down shift to snap to the outer edge of my base, draw a line straight down and over. That gives me an outline. This is, this is half of what the profile of my rook should look like, my rook look. So I'm gonna start kind of shaping in what that's going to look like. I'm going to put some lines like this. I'm going to come down here, come over. That looks good. And I'm not going to put an arc like there is in these other pieces. The rest of the pieces will have this nice soft arc. The rook is a tough guy. He's got straight lines like that. That's beautiful. All right. I'm going to use the E key to bring up eraser, get rid of these extra pieces. And if you're following along, you know what steps next. I'm going to use follow me. So I'm going to pick my outline first and then I'm, whoops, make sure you get all the edges. I can actually just double click on the surface. That'll give me the, the lines all the way around. And then follow me and click right here. All right, that looks okay. A couple things that aren't okay right now, of course. Um, this doesn't look like a rook, it looks like something out of Super Mario Brothers. So I need to come in here and kind of create some lines and maybe push down some of these surfaces so I get that little battlement. Um, I'm probably not using the right word, but you know, the look at the top of a rook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with lines. I'm gonna grab a line and I'm gonna use this segmented circle to my advantage. I'm gonna draw a line from the outside edge to the inside edge. I'm gonna go over two points and do that again. So what that's gonna end up doing is that section will then get pushed down and it will cause these other pieces to stick up high. I'm gonna do that all the way around. So every two points, oops, every two points, I'm gonna draw that. This is gonna take a while doing this one at a time. So I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna select that piece right there and I'm gonna use rotate. So rotate. With rotate, again, I'm gonna use inferencing to pull down from the top point. If I look straight down, I can see that this is the side point. So from right there, I'm gonna grab a point, option or control, and I wanna bring that over to here. And I wanna do that maybe three more times. Nope, maybe four more times. Yep, that looks pretty good. Nice thing about making an array like that is you can adjust it on the fly. So what I did there is the first time I typed X3, that wasn't enough, so I typed X4, and that gave me the correct number of pieces around the edge. Now that I have those, I'm gonna use push-pull again, so I'm gonna hit the P key, and I'm gonna drag that down, maybe about uh, there. Again, we're not looking at exact measurements, we're sculpting, making it look good. The cool thing is I have a couple ways I can actually bring this down to the same height. I can click, and then move my mouse over so that my cursor snaps to any of these surfaces and click again. Or if I know it's the same distance, if I'm moving from the same beginning location, in this case, the height on the blue axis to the same end location, also on the blue axis, I can just double click, double click, double click, double click, and double click. And when I do that, I get what I have no doubt is a rook. That looks pretty cool, but I'm not sold on something. I, I have an issue here. My issue is I don't like the way this goes flat across. I want a little bit of an angle down. Um, I could go back, I could erase it all and go back to my profile and redraw it. Or what I can do instead is I can come in here and grab this ring right here, just the line, and pull it straight down. Issue I run into is when I click, this is actually broken apart. So something I did during my uh, follow me or something, broke this apart. It's not a single line anymore. It's, it's not a circle. So I have a bunch of segments. So how do I select those segments? Well, here's a shortcut. I'm gonna double click on this surface. 
When you double click a surface, it selects a surface and any edges that make a boundary. So that gets me both this outside and this section right here. That's great, but I don't want to move down this line. I only want to move down this line. So what I have to do now is unselect here. Again, I don't want to use, I could hold down uh, shift option or shift control and right click and deselect individual lines, but then I'm just picking all those edges again. So here's a tip. This edge is actually shared between this surface and this surface. So if I subtract click on this surface, I double click, it deactivates this surface and any edges connected, which in this case is this outside ring. That leaves me with only the inside ring. So I'm gonna do that again. So just try and get this inside ring. I'm gonna double click on this surface. Then I'm gonna hold down shift option, click on the surface and then double click on this surface, which will deactivate that shared edge. Now that I have just that interior edge selected, I can come over here and I can grab the move command. With move, I'm just gonna click and drag down. It's hard to, hard to get to down right here, so I'm gonna use my uh, keyboard to hit the up key, which is gonna lock my movement to the blue axes. And with this, I can actually tell it how far I wanna come down. That looks pretty good right about there. That was the look I was going for. Now I have to get rid of these lines. So of course I have a couple options here. I can hit E and then hold down, look down here for the modifier key for soften and smooth. I'm on max, so it's option. If I click drag across there, it'll smooth those out. Another option of course is to triple click on the, the piece, which will highlight all the surfaces and all the lines. Then I can come over here to display again. And in here, if I scroll down to the bottom of the display panel, I have smooth edges and soften coplanar. So if I turn those on and see what happens is, whoa, a little too much. I, I over smoothed as one does tend to do. I'm gonna triple click again, turn those two checkboxes on and maybe drag that down a little bit. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Maybe I can get, all right there, that looks, that looks good. All right, so there we go. Using SketchUp Free, we created our sixth piece of our chess, chess set. Our rook is finished. Up next, we'll take a look at creating the bishop. Thank you.